guys, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. So, another battle with them fuzzies. I want to save the fire flowers when, I mean, there's a lot of them, but yeah, I have a bunch of them. Foo! I like saying foo when it hits them. It's just funny. Foo, I like that word. Like, foo! I don't know why. Yeah, you know what other word I like? You got an item! I like that word. It seems like no matter where I put it, you're not seeing the whole screen. Uh-oh, we got in a fight. It's like Dry Dry Ruins right here. I mean, there's a lot of things in this game that are similar to the first game, so... Just be prepared for that. But then there, are, then again, there's a lot of things that are just brand freaking new. Brand spanking new. I mean, of course it should be similar, but I mean, it's a sequel. But it's not a direct sequel. I mean, yeah, I... I mean... It's not a sequel, like... There's sequels to games that are like, they play just like the first one. Which I guess this one would be. Even though the gra... But the graphics, like, would have to be the same, too. And the graphics are, aren't quite the same. But to see where I'm coming from is like... Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks. Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie. It seems like most of those games that I'm naming are two years apart in release dates. What are some other ones? Mega Man and Mega Man 2. Yeah, see, you don't want to attack him because he's giving us a coin. Oh, got it. What are some more? Do you get where I'm coming on from? Like, they play just like the first one? Actually, pretty much all Mega Man games are like that, aren't they? I mean, I've really only played two. It's the closest I've, I've ever gotten to beating a classic game. There's one classic game I would have to say I'm not bad at. It would be Mega Man 2. Donkey Kong Country and Donkey Kong Country 2. Do they play the same? I don't know, because I've never played Donkey Kong Country 2. Super Mario Galaxy and Super Mario Galaxy 2. That was... I knew that was an obvious one I wasn't thinking of. Like, because they play exactly the same, pretty much. Ironically, that's that kind of thing is often criticized in reviews. Like, pretty much every review for that, it's kind of criticized for playing too much like the first one. I mean, I've heard at least one person criticize it. Like, <coughs> CJS0 criticized his, that in his Super Mario Galaxy 2 review. Um, but then again, he said that it had enough new things. And then Mark Bozon criticized that in his Fear Tracks review. Well, he didn't really criticize it. He said... It may look like Phantom Hourglass, but it's a game all its own or something like that. Let's talk about this. We're fighting more fuzzies. I'm trying to preserve my fire flowers. You never know when you might need to do some torching. Torching or torturing. They can both be done with fire flowers. You know you don't stand a chance against us. Oh, the shines are the best ones to get, because they they restore your uh, HP, FP, and star power. So there's five in total things you can get on Bingo. There's mushrooms, flowers, and stars, which of course are respective. Then the shine, which I just talked about. But there's also something called the poison mushroom, which cuts everything in half. Now, the first time I played this game, when I thought that... I thought that meant that it cut, like, everything in half. Like, your maximum in half. So I thought it meant, like, oh, Goombella would only have five maximum FP. But no. I don't know what I was thinking that for. We'll use a Fire Flower for them. So-called mini-boss battles. The ones you can't flee. 
<coughs> even though the mini boss music wasn't playing, was it? Because the mini boss music in this game is like da 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 da, or something like that. And the regular bot, the regular enemy music is da 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 da. And so we got it. We got the stone keys. We can get out of here. Oh, it's another fuzzy, and it's a uh, albino. No, it's gold. Now this thing only has 10 HP. And it doesn't suck your health. Uh-oh. That's not fair. Goombella didn't even attack yet. You went out of order. You can't do that. You went out of order. You can't do that. Oh my god, why am I missing? I mean, yeah, I can't see it, but still. Aw oh man, I was almost perfect. See, like right here, you might want to use a fire flower, since uh, you want to hurt them both, since the more you hurt the fuzzy horde, the less it hurts you. Just like the shy guy horde. Speaking of which, there's actually no shy guys in this game, I believe. Oh no, they're attacking my partner! See, they only attacked me four times. And I am absolutely sucking. I don't think I've gotten one action command yet. But we're getting one here. Yeah! And he's dead. I'm not sure if you can get extra star points from the fuzzy horde. I think, I think you do, even if you kill the gold fuzzy first. So yeah, we just leveled up last video, and now we're about to do it again. <laughs> I like how you can always like see it bouncing out like that. And you never see it again. You know, I forgot there was a save block right there. If there was, then I wouldn't be recording this video. Because <laughs> I was like, oh, I'll, I'll record one more. Because I'm kind of tired, but... Oh well. I think we're gonna get to Hooktail Castle in this video. Which is good. So, here we go. Yeah, keep going left, left, left. What a fun game. Oh, I shouldn't even be sarcastic because... I mean, it's a really, really, really good game. I mean, the fun comes in the puzzles. Also, there's more platforming in it than the first one. I mean, platforming and just the story, the overall presentation is just wonderful. So let's uh, refill our HP. Haven't failed a bingo yet. Nah. We've almost leveled up again, but I don't think we're going to get to be able to do it this video, unfortunately. Now, at least we heard a tree. I mean, a tree is a living thing. Save all game progress, yes, we'll do that. Oh, and this Toad right here, he always talks about a video game. I've been playing a lot of Nintendo 64 games recently. You know the Nintendo 64. Well, the game I play the most on it is Paper Mario. There's this girl in the game, Bo, who's pretty much the cutest boo of all time. Hmm, funny, I've been playing that game. I think I've played that game as well, too. Maybe. I mean, I'm not sure if i played that, but it, it kind of does ring a bell. Hmm. Oh, I should have uh, refilled, but... Um, excuse me. It's... It's Mario, right? Look, I, um, see, the thing is, I've been waiting here in the hope of getting to speak with you. I have to ask you something. You can say no, but I'm gonna throw it out there. I wonder what you're gonna ask me. I mean, you look different from every other Koopa, so... I wonder why the game programmers would make me... Oh, please take me with you to fight Hooktail! Please, I'm begging you! 
Sorry about that. Yeah, my dad went off to fight Hooktail, but he never came back. Miss him, of course. This isn't just about avenging my dad. Well, no, that's not true. Revenge is a part of it, I guess. A big part. But the truth is, I want to finish what Dad started, for his sake. I man, this is embarrassing. See, everyone always says I'm a crybaby, a weakling. If I can defeat Hooktail, oh yeah, I'll be strong, so... Sure, come along. So even though he said you can say no if you want, if you had said no, well then, <laughs> he would have kept saying, oh, please take me with you. Yeah, so this time he actually has more moves. He's not just a Koops clone. So you can hold it and then release. You can even hold Koops' shell, move Mario, and then release it. Awesome. Hi! This is funny right here. Coops. Uh oh, it's his girlfriend. Oh, hi, golly, I'm hi, Cooper Coop. Well, part of it, Coops, I thought I heard you say you're off to fight Hooktail. You're joking. I mean, you're not exactly a powerhouse, so we'll eat you up. I know, Coopy Coop, I want to be tougher for you. Aww. It's. So, sort of a cry. Sort of, it's, I don't care about all that. Sorry, Goopy Coo, I've made up my nine. Uh, this is the funny part. Fine, ignore me! Stupid Koopa! I like when she's so stubborn, Koopa, I always forget. I always think she says stupid, not stubborn. Well, it's, it's, I got the ST part. Uh, so we're done. I think next video I'll meet you in front of Hooktail's castle, since that's where the action's gonna be. Bye.